10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Royal Telecine, 4. My name is Ian Quigley. Two, I'm a member of the Haunted one, New Zealand team, zero. and this is my tale from the crypt. It was the year 2000. I had an offer to work for a television studio called Teddington, which was known for Benny Hill, The Office, Kilroy, and many more. It was an old building, with long dark corridors, lined with pictures of stars that had passed through over the years. I went in the night before to get to know the place, and play with the equipment before the job the next day. I got down to work. The edit suite had a U-shaped desk, surrounded by screens and machines all around. I sat in the middle with my back to the door. Suddenly, I heard the sound of footsteps and chatting going past my door. This was unexpected because I was told I'd be alone for the night. I turned, but there was nobody there. A bit later, I was disturbed again. People passing in deep conversation. It was close to midnight. A staff member called to check in on me and see if I had any visitors. I told him about the people walking around outside, but he said that was normal for that time of night. It was strange that they didn't come in to say hello, as I was new to the company. A few more occurrences, so I decided to go for a walk. Out into the corridor and into the other rooms, down the stairs and outside to check to see if anybody passed the security gate. Nope, I was alone. A bit of research later revealed that employees were afraid to work there because of the ghostly activity. Just before the end of World War II, a flying bomb hit the studios, destroying two stages, several buildings, and killing employees. Studio crew would experience whispering during recordings, lights flying off the ceiling, and doors season closed, even during live broadcasts. It was reported on TV news that the studio got a priest in to perform an exorcism on the building. Since then, it has been demolished, and a new apartment block stands in its place. Did I hear disembodied voices of studio workers killed by the bomb? Does the ghostly activity still continue in the new apartments built on that site? As is often the case with paranormal activity, we are left with more questions than answers. But I'll never forget my experience of the ghosts. Nice program, everyone. Thank you very much. At Teddington Studios. <laughs>